Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQL accounting software. So if you want to make purchase, training, and support, you can contact me. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information, video, and update regarding SQL system at my company. You may also send queries or questions over here and I will answer accordingly. You can also go to youtube slash syntax technologies, browse video to get all the previous tutorial video regarding SQL accounting system and also payroll system. In today's lesson, I'll talk about reporting. The first report I'll go in for will be sales, sales document listing. The way of looking at report is applied for all others report in SQL accounting. You must underway you must understand the way to how to see the report. For example, sales document listing. You want to see a quotation listing. So the first thing you want to do is you can set the date range. Whether it's by month, by day, or by year, you can set it over here. Furthermore, you can set the criteria as quotation, which quotation, customer, agent, area, and so on. You want to you can select a specific document number like this or a particular customer like this. This is only one selection. You can do this also, meaning that you only want to see this customer with this agent. If you want to see a few customer, so you go to the three dot button, you type which customer you want to see, then you can have this criteria. Like The fourth one is print document star. For example, you created five quotations and you do not want to print one by one and you want to print one shot, you just take print document star, apply. Sorry, the date range. Okay, so if you do this. Then it will be few quotation together instead of need to print one by one. So remember, print document start. Okay, the most complicated is this one, this part. For example, I do this. So it's just a general listing according to the document number. But if I take this, meaning that the take is group and will sort by customer name. So the result will be sorted by and grouped by customer name. This customer, you have this quotation. This customer, you have this three quotation. And so if you take again. So now you're telling the system you want to group by customer and agent, but the sorting is customer come first, then agent. Meaning that customer, agent. So if there are few agent code the same customer, and you can see you listed that. Customer agent. You may also change the sorting. You click at agent, pull it up so it will be agent then customer. So you can see now this agent sell to which customer. Okay. 
another thing that you want to take note is during reporting if you can find there's a plus over here meaning that you can expand this report by show details so when you click at show details the details of that particular quotation we show so these are the details of this quotation so this call show details and take it comes to normal it's just a listing so when you understand the way of looking at report like this you can see all the reports in SQL accounting system so sales document listing is all the listing for transaction under sales so under sales transaction you have quotation sales order default invoice sales debit note credit note sales cancel note so that's all for today i'm brian from syntax technologies you may contact me with this information thank you